So we've got here a amplifier that looks like a box amplifier, but there's something wrong with it. And on top, it's a little different. So what we've got inside is a Raspberry Pi powered amplifier. Uh, there was originally a box in here. Uh, it got broken through no fault of mine, although, uh, and I, I swear to that. Ripped out all the internals, replaced it with a Raspberry Pi, and we've got... So these are all potentiometers hooked up to the Pi. We can put up the delay. And we've got reverb. So, what have we got going on inside? How did we do this? We've got code over here, and this is available on GitHub, and this code was done in Python with the wonderful Pyo library, and we're using uh, an MCP 3008 to take the potentiometer inputs in. The basics of the code are, we've got some arguments that we can feed in to set up for debugging, which there was a lot of debugging because this took several months to get straight, uh, whether we want the LEDs to turn on, if we want a meter to show uh, the volume on screen, and then we've got some code basically uh, setting up the LEDs, setting up the LED bar graph on the front. Oh, did we show that? I got some video of it. Excellent. So we showed that the, the LEDs light up based on the volume, uh, and then we've got a signal handler for when we want to break the program. This is the this is the LED volume meter based on the uh, uh, root mean squared volume of the of the uh, output. And then we've got the basics of the code here at the bottom. We've got the wah, which is the most complicated effect taken from the sample code. We've got delay, reverb, distortion, EQ, the wet mix, the wah effect itself, and then basically we take the inputs of the potentiometers and we use them to affect the signal chain coming through Pio. What does it look like on the inside? What does all this stuff look like? So we've got, we've got a nice panel on the back where we've got the outputs from uh, and inputs for the Pi wired in. So we've got the HDMI, we've got the mouse and the keyboard and the ethernet so we can wire into it. And we've got the wiring here. So the Pi itself, we've got an audio injector card and the audio injector card provides the input and output. Uh, and the processing of the of the audio signal. We've got this nice little board that lets us connect to all the GPIO pins. We've got the red ones are the ones hooked up to all of the uh, LED outputs for the bot for the um, uh, let me make sure I've got that right. Yeah. The reds are the the LEDs on this on the effects. The yellows are the LEDs on the front panel showing the volume with that LED bar graph. The blue ones wire in through this little board over here, 
which is where the MCP3008 is, and this provides the connection to all of the potentiometers on the front so we can read the digital audio in, uh, sorry, the digital, the, the analog value of the potentiometers and take them into digital for the Pi because the Pi doesn't have native uh, analog reading capability. Uh, we've wired into the original speaker in the box, that is original, and then we've got two power supplies. One wasn't enough apparently, so the one power supply here powers the um, amplifier uh, that leads to the, to the speaker, and the amplifier here is this Fosse audio unit. We went through probably 10 different Class D amplifiers, all of which either broke or smoked or something happened. Uh, this turned out to be the best one to use, a little more expensive, almost $20, I think, and wired that in. We took the, the volume and broke it off over here on the end and ran it up to a potentiometer. That was the main uh, surgery that was operating on that one. And then we've got the uh, power supply for the Pi. And that's basically it. Uh, and we've got a separate switch to power on the amp or turn the amp off so that we can control that as there was a lot of debugging again. So here's just a little sample also of the uh, of the many boards, of the many Class D amplifiers tried and uh, and fried. Uncertain if it was user error or there was something wrong with them, but uh, that, that little Fosse one seems to come out the best. And that's it. All the code is available on GitHub. Uh, thanks.